Hey everyone, it is Mike Les, Farmhand Mike here, and it is Wednesday morning, October 17th, here in Southern Dark County, Ohio. So I try to work all day and do these farm vlogs, do a little video and while I'm working and get in at night and edit, only to find out, for some reason, the first two clips here, my camera did not record the sound. So I am talking over myself right now, so what you're hearing and what I'm saying on camera is probably not matching up, but now you know why. I worked ground last night till 11 p.m. and we got three tenths of an inch of rain overnight, so not really enough to start us, but we were having some grain dryer issues and so forth. So uh, anyways, just going to get started here a little late. We're going to shell some corn, so first things first, always check your engine oil and uh, just going to walk around this new tractor, check a couple things out. Tractor's been working out really well. Everything's been going good. Uh, just check the engine oil there. We're going to go back on here, check the hydraulic transmission oil and that's okay you check it through this sight glass back here and look at that so uh, hank who helps us does a little blacksmithing on the side and uh, he does all kinds of crazy stuff but anyways he just made up this pipe here put in the three point arms just to hold the hoses and stuff for the grain cart so they weren't rubbing up against the power takeoff shaft I think I'm good now, and the rest of the clips through this video, I believe the sound was on. I have no idea how it got turned off for these first two clips, but it did, and I can't go back and change it now. So this tractor obviously tier 4 final because it's a brand new tractor so it does take diesel exhaust fluid or as one farmer I know calls it government juice. One thing, doing this YouTube channel, people ask all kinds of questions, and quite a few people have asked me what size tires are on this Versatile 365, so let's just have a look. On the front is Goodyear 380 80R38s, and on the back is Goodyear 480 80R50s. So there you go. Hope that answered your question. Um, Still playing around with tire pressure and so forth. Okay, here we go. We're getting started. Uh, just opening up another field here. This field is just on the other side of the swamp we was in yesterday. And uh, I'm just running the 8235R in the small cart here because chances are this will just get filled up today and that'll be it. So I figured I'll just get it out of the way first. Fill the cart, park it, then I'll go back and jump into Versatile and we should have a few of the end rows off by then. That's the plan anyhow. I can make a shorter turnaround with this shorter cart and tractor. I'll just stay back here. He's uh, coming up to the end of the field there and uh, let him get that opened up because I don't know which way he's going to go. Here we go. We're going to do that unload on the go thing.
you definitely have to be a mind reader when you're running the tractor and grain cart. I was almost 100% certain he was going to come back and get the last eight end rows here. I backed the grain cart up, got up on the auger, was going to get you guys a beautiful shot with the camera here, and what's he do? He goes down the other end of the field. So I got down, I'm going after the combine again. This screen must be going back because it keeps jumping around and changing for no reason. And now I can't change it back. There we go. I'm in the versatile now. Uh, we got this field opened up and we're gonna start the live stream here pretty soon. But anyways, uh, j and is supposed to be here to get some evening shots. So uh, we gotta just go back this railroad bed. It's a little rough, so I gotta take it easy through here. Uh, Alexandria showed up and she brought me potato chips and a Pepsi so we're gonna get ready to try to do our first ever YouTube live stream uh, the guys from J&M are back to get some drone footage so uh, we're in for a good night here so let's see what happens and hopefully nothing breaks down Okay, two cameras going here. Got the phone and the GoPro, so. All right, the live stream went very well. Uh, thanks to Alexandria for helping me do that. We went for an hour and 56 minutes. Had a lot of comments, it was a lot of fun. But uh, anyways, we got everything full here in the field and that is gonna wrap it up for Wednesday night, October 16th. So Alexandria and I are gonna go somewhere for supper because uh, my wife is uh, working late tonight. So we're gonna go see what we can get into. Bye. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, October 17th, and ready for another day here on the farm. So we're just going to start the day off here. I'm going to grease the 9410 and the McFarland Insight, get ready to do some tillage. Um, we filled everything last night, and um, just waiting on the dryer to catch up a little bit here. So I'm going to get this ready so if I get some in-between breaks today, between harvest, do a little uh, tillage work.
looks like I need to clean the windows. Gonna move over here and put a little fuel in it. Got everything greased up. And then this will be ready to go again. pocket knife comes in here. Got the tractor full of fuel, uh, McFarland and the tractor's all greased up. So I'm gonna move this over to another farm that I'm gonna work. Uh, there was really no dew last night. It did get quite chilly, but it was windy. I think it's like 38 degrees this morning. And um, we're gonna start shelling corn here pretty quick. We should be able to finish that field we was in last night and get moved. And the drying bin ran all night, so that was good. So we got went down on corn there. Been having trouble the last few nights, so that's good. Uh, I just wanna talk about the live stream my daughter and I did last night. It was absolutely awesome. This morning when I got up, 8,400 people would watch that, which I think is pretty good for a live stream. And uh, real happy about that. It seemed like everybody liked it. We went for almost two hours, so a lot of fun. So we're gonna to try to do another one in the future. Uh, maybe from the cab of the combine so stay tuned for that uh it's probably going to be i don't know when it's going to be but it's not going to be tonight or anything like that daughter has school tonight uh probably won't happen this weekend but uh, we'll get to it before harvest is over so stay tuned for that i'm going to move the tractor now and uh stay tuned we got a lot of good stuff coming today Rifle Coffee Company, best coffee out there. I really like this JNMI farm for checking the weight in the cart so you got a pretty good idea when the cart's full instead of climbing up there and looking. It's been really tough. I've been wanting to get some good drone shots of the harvest and so forth and I love this background here with that grain elevator back there and we just didn't have the manpower so I am going to attempt to fly the drone and run the grain cart tractor at the same time. It's not too bad to do but uh, some of the shots where I move in and out you'll see aren't my best work but uh, anyways I edited it out not too bad here. You got to get what you can. Grain elevator in the background there is on State Route 503, and that is just west of Arcanum, Ohio. When I first moved to Dark County in 1996, that was Continental Grain, and then at one point Cargill owned it. Uh, I believe it was called Rogers Grain at one time, and now two farmers own that, and they haul all their own grain there, and just it's just for them, nobody else. 
I planted this field here. Actually, I worked this field one night. I got done about 11 o'clock, and then the next day uh, I was running the planter. Planted this, and that was the first week of June. And right now this corn here is about 20% moisture or so. Given the year we had, this corn is yielding pretty good. The only issue it's really causing uh, with the later corn is normally the moisture is a few points lower right now so the grain dryer is the hang up right now as uh, we can catch up to it pretty quick and then we have to pause. So we're not able to do as many acres per day as we have uh, other years about this date. But with that said it's still not as bad as the year 2009. That was a tough year for getting dry corn. Wow that tractor and grain cart that is just one good looking setup. When the two guys from J&M Manufacturing were out the other night flying their drones around the field, they flew one between the tractor and combine underneath the auger of the combine. I'd like to give that a whirl sometime, but I'm not going to do that while I'm operating the tractor and flying the drone. Down to the last eight rows in this field. That's somebody else's corn over there.
all right, we're just uh, gonna get things moved. The combine went ahead. Uh, we still got one semi here. The other tractor and grain cart has got a little bit of corn in it. I'm gonna take this back and we're gonna get another field started here today. And just like that, we're in another field of corn. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart if I do say so myself. This corn's around 19% moisture and the yield monitor's showing around 190 through here but we're still kind of on some end rows here. Well, now I'm seeing 220, 215 so yep. said it before and I'll say it again that is one good looking tractor and grain cart well, we got a little bit of down corn in places but when it's laid over like this we can pick it up pretty good That's going to do it for Thursday evening. Uh, it was a great day. We got a lot done, a lot accomplished, but uh, the drying bin's full, trucks are full, grain carts are full, and so on. So uh, I'm going to go home and eat supper. And then uh, I got the 9410 and the vertical till ready this morning. So we got that moved. So I'm going to get up early tomorrow morning, work some ground before we start harvesting corn. So should get a lot of acres covered tomorrow, but you can see behind me, it's a beautiful evening. It's uh, just a little chilly today, but uh, like I said, great day today. So we're going to end the video here with what I'm having for supper. I said I was going home for supper and everybody likes to see what I'm eating, or a lot of you do. So my wife made me ham, that's a lot of ham, and scalloped potatoes, and she also has a cake in the oven. So there you go. That's going to do it for Thursday. Thanks for watching, everybody.